Well, this week, we turn the calendar over into a new year. And I know a lot of us at this time of year think about New Year's resolutions. And I also know being in gospel-centered circles, we're supposed to say like, hey, New Year's resolutions is not what Christianity is about. It's about the grace of God. It's about the good news of the gospel. Stop worrying about resolving to do more. You're going to fail anyway. Um, That's all fine and good. And there's theological truth to that. But I want to remind you that one of the uh, most famous theologians in American history, Jonathan Edwards, uh, is well known for his resolutions which he made. Here's a man who understood uh, reformed theology and sort of the gospel in a very deep way, and yet he was resolved to do certain things. Let me read you a couple of his resolutions. I've got them on my cue card here right off the screen. Resolution 5, Jonathan Edwards says this, resolved never to lose one moment of time, but to improve it in the most possible way I possibly can, in the most profitable way I possibly can. Uh, Resolved never to do anything which I should be afraid to do if it were the last hour of my life. These are the kinds of purposeful resolutions Edwards made, and he he had a discipline of, I want to review these every morning. He wrote these all down on a piece of paper. I want to review these every morning. What I think that reminds us of is the fact that, man, being resolved to give ourselves to certain things is an intensely spiritual practice. It's not anti-grace or anti-gospel for us to say, hey, let's be committed and intentional and purposeful about certain practices and rhythms and disciplines that God calls us to give ourselves to. And so I want to encourage you to think as we turn the calendar over this week, what things do you need to give yourself to in a deeper and fuller way in the new year? Maybe it's uh, commitment to faithful presence in your gospel community. Maybe it's uh, a more faithful engagement with non-Christians in your life who live around you or work around you. Um, maybe it's a more faithful commitment to prayer. I want to remind you, every morning of the week at 7 a.m., we have a little prayer gathering uh, at the church building as a way of just participating in that rhythm together, as being committed in a resolved way to the discipline of prayer. And I'm always there Tuesday mornings, and other elders are there the other mornings of the week. I'd love to to see that prayer gathering grow to dozens and dozens of people gathering together every single day of the week to be resolved, committed to pray together. So whatever it is for you, I just want to encourage you to think um, with, a, with a healthy sense of spiritual discipline about the year 2022. What are you going to give yourself to this year? Uh, how is your life and your patterns and your rhythms and your practices going to look different as we roll into a new year? I'm excited to stay committed and be committed to those things with you. And one of those simple rhythms is just the rhythm of gathering every Sunday for the worship of God and the preaching of His Word and uh, being together with His people. So look forward to seeing you next Sunday as we gather together again. And until then, have a great week.